everybody and welcome back to the series to the third episode of hey girl hey journey to the altar okay today we're gonna talk about dropping tea and staying true to you are no matter what you go through in life okay so I've compiled a few questions that my girlfriends been ask me about that you know they want to ask me okay and how to like go through life get your man get whatever okay so we're just gonna go through the first question first question girl my mom has a plan in my wedding that's not aligned with my vision how do I tell her no without offending her so here's the thing okay Indonesian wedding is more about what the parents want both sides of the parents want okay so you and your man gotta be you know neutral and do whatever works for everybody so me and mama did have a little bit of a fight okay because she doesn't want something and i'm like no she wants something that's real chinese and i'm like no ma that's not gonna fly with me because it's too damn red if i let you have some something red then next day you're gonna have some dragons in my wedding nothing wrong with no dragons but it's not that's not gonna fly with me okay so you know what just gotta you know breathe it out because at the end of the day that's her important day too okay she can have what she wants because you know it's her daughter let's get married okay and she's inviting her friends too so what we gonna say what i said was you know what mom i think it's better if we do it this way see you can't tell her ma that's ugly if you say it's ugly or if you see it's not about what you say it's about how you say it if you use the right word no matter who you tell it to no matter if it's your man your cousin your baby sister your employee your whoever okay you just gotta say it right you can't attack nobody okay i still gotta work on that Cause sometimes when i'm mad or if I'm on my period, don't try. Okay. What was your worst fight with your man about? How did you move on and forgive him? Okay. Worst fight, in my opinion, is always about something that has to do with family. If it's like something about family, it's hard because you can't change their mind. You know, they can't come to the middle ground. We have to come to day ground most of the time because we got to respect them. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I told him this. Now, because we still boyfriend, girlfriend, we can do whatever they want. But after we married, we got to be a family. You know, we can't consider them. Like, we can't put them as the first priority no more. It's gotta be us. Because when we have kids, we can't be putting our parents first. We gotta put our relationship first. Because at the end of the day, this is what I heard, right? Happy parents is happy kids. If me and my man ain't tied, it's not tied. My kids gonna see it. See what I mean? How do I move on? How did I move on? Man, you just gotta pray. You know what I mean? You just gotta pray. You gotta go to the salon. You gotta buy yourself makeup. Sometimes you gotta go to the gym. I've had some times when I had to just clean some dishes to let all the aggressions out, you know, because I can't kick nobody, you know what I mean? So the way to just let that anger out is just, just to wash them dishes. Okay, you can scrub them clean, honey. And you just gotta forget because you can't let like that anger live inside of you because you're gonna look angry and ugly as hell. When you ugly, your man gonna look for another woman, okay? Your man gonna look for a side chick, and ain't nobody got time for that, okay? And listen, I'm sure it's not always him who pissed me off. I'm sure I pissed him off too. So I can't be thinking, oh, I'm perfect, you know? No, I gotta think it like, oh, it must be hard on him too. That's why I gotta forget and hopefully do better next time, okay? next question the third question they say you guys can't read girls signs and calls which is true how do you hint on what you want to your man see i stopped doing that okay guys don't listen to no hands watch steve harvey talk show he said that and he's a man he'd be like yo men are dumb sometimes 
No offense to all men, but y'all not that bright, okay? I done stop all that mess. Why? Because I said, okay, I used to drop hints and be like, yo, it's our anniversary soon, okay? In hopes that he would know I would want some flowers, see? But he'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Come my anniversary, ain't no flowers. I'm just like mad and pissed as hell. I, feel like I can't have this no more. So I stop it. I'd be like, listen, bro. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen, Linda. Listen. It's our anniversary. I'm going to need my flowers, okay? Listen, ladies, sometimes you got to, you know, just say it. Because they ain't Jesus. They can't read our minds. I can't read his mind. Hell, I can't read my own mind sometimes. But like, sometimes, man, especially when I'm on my period, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want ice cream or if I want some fruit. Okay? When hormones is messing with you, you just can't. Okay? Do not drop him, ladies. Especially when you be with him for like years. No, it's not that no more. He used to read signs when he used to jerk me. When he used to chase me. Okay? But all that stuff, you gotta milk that thing dry. Okay? When you... Jadiant with him went downhill real fast. Don't get offended. Don't put your hopes in him. Okay, just put your hopes in Jesus. Okay. Fourth question. What's your mental mantra to keep you level as you inch toward your wedding? How do I keep my situation situated? It's to just get everything done early. Okay. Do not be like, oh, I can just do this, you know. <laughs> next thing you know, it's next week, it's your wedding. You can have that. Okay? As soon as you know your budget, you can go ahead and hustle. Okay? You go to your sister, your cousin, your mama, who, whoever, okay, that can help you with, like, budgeting and planning, and, you know, helping you getting some deals. You can come to me. Go to the comments down below, and I'll hook you up, girl. Okay, but if you ask me for some vendors outside Indonesia, I can't help you. You on your own. Go to brightstory.com, whatever.com that can help you. But if it's in the Indonesian wedding, I can help you. Okay, I can help you get the best deal, honey. Okay, because I'm in business. And pray. You need to pray. Because at the end of the day, it's a song about it. It's called Jesus Take the Wheel. Jesus Take the Wheel. You can do your best, but listen, your best is not God's best, okay? I want a small wedding, but my parents won't let me. Any ideas on how best to persuade them? If you pay for it, you can have a small wedding. Bottom line. Okay, I don't mean to be blunt or nothing or like rude. At the end of the day, it is kind of about the money. If you can't pay or if you ain't got that kind of bank, you can't. Nuntut. What's nuntut in English? You can't have requests. You can't have requests, but they're not going to come through. Because at the end of the day, it's day bank. Okay? It's them cards that's going to get slapped. Okay? And you should tell them, listen, man. At the end of the day, it's not just your wedding. It's everybody's wedding. It's your mama's wedding. It's his mama's wedding. It's your man wedding. You got to do what's best. It's not just about you. People keep on telling, oh, it's your day. It's your day. No, it's not your day. It's just one day. You got to focus on the journey ahead. You can't just think about, oh, it's the wedding. No, don't get too hyped up on the wedding, girl. Listen, ain't no use if you have a nice wedding, a big wedding, a small wedding, but you fight like hell, and your man and your in-laws and your mama be thinking that you crazy. It's not cute. Okay? Now, win some, lose some. Okay? You can have a little bit of what you want, a little bit of what she wants, he wants. Everybody wins. Okay? Because they've been waiting on this day for like, I don't know, 20 some years. Okay? That's the tea for now. Okay? If you have some tea that you want me to answer, write down on the comments below. Okay? Please like, subscribe. Okay, and don't get mad. I love you. Bye.